Hi Amy, so nice to meet you. I'll be interviewing you today for your role here at Starbucks. First off, I couldn't find it. Do you have a resume? Here it is. I'm sorry, is there anything on that? It's a letterhead that says I'm a good Christian mother. The, that's impressive. So how would you define excellent customer service? I would need a dictionary and to look into legal precedent to answer that question. Well, for instance, how would you handle a customer who claimed that their order was made wrong? If that situation ever came up, I would have to listen to arguments from my coworkers and read the receipts and look at the closed circuit television footage and consult with my lawyer and most likely call border control. I think I have a good idea, but how would you handle a customer who is being very rude? The law is the law. Well, if they were being visibly upset and protesting a messed up order, what would you do? No one has the right to protest. Actually, I think that's in the First Amendment. <laughs> um, speech, press, religion, assembly, I'm pretty sure it's not. Should we check? Hold on, I'll consult my Bible. Moving on. If management were to change, would you commit to continued peaceful operations? That seems to me to be pulling me into the question of whether or not we should always submit to the whims and wills of a mermaid. As an employee, I want to stay out of it and I don't want to express an opinion. But yes, to answer your question, I would harpoon anyone who attempted to dethrone our mermaid ruler. Uh, okay, so um, tell me about a time you made a mistake and how you fixed it. <laughs> as far as I know, that issue has never arisen and it may never arise, but it calls for analysis of the scope of responsibility. So you've never made a mistake? Answering this question would be opining, and so I cannot offer a view. Really? Never? Come on. Fine. Once I had too much wine before a PTA meeting. Thank you, that's And enough. I just so happened to forget to pick up three of my seven children. That's a lot of children. That's okay, thanks. And so I might have spent the evening on a booze cruise with a man who became my first and last Latin lover. And we might have accidentally gotten married. And I might have had to annul that marriage because it would have been bigamy. Please, can you stop? What? So what? Like, you've never done something like that? You can stop answering. Do I regret it? We'd have to look into what constitutes the legal grounds of what regret is. Wow. So... What's your favorite Starbucks drink? Coffee. Any specific type? I'm a strict originalist. I mean, do you prefer a latte or a frappuccino? I'm not here on a mission to destroy frappuccinos. Are they an abomination? Yes. Are they a sin, like gay marriage? Yes. Will I destroy them? I can't answer that question until after I'm an employee and the opportunity arises. Moving on with our traditional interview questions. If you were to run out of a product or ingredient, like say whipped cream, how would you explain that to an angry customer? I believe people shouldn't whip cream until they're married. Can you list any of the items we sell here? No. Which of your traits makes you best equipped to excel in this role? Like I said on my letterhead, I have seven children and I'm Catholic. We have a really busy store here, so if a customer line were to get really long and you were the only cashier on hand, what steps would you take in order to make sure that everything was under control? I'd call ICE. At Starbucks we say we like to inspire and nurture the human spirit. One person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. What do you think of that and how would it reflect in your work? That's not in the law anywhere. There's no precedent for that. It's our corporate policy. We'll see if that stands. All right, to wrap up, why do you want to work at Starbucks? You're trying to elicit an opinion from me on a very contentious matter. 
Do I want to burn down Starbucks and the country it's built upon so that a theocracy can thrive? Yes. Can I say that? No. Thank you. We'll be in contact.